Well, since the launch of Bell Let's Talk nine years ago, more than $93 million have been raised for mental health initiatives with a goal now to surpass $100 million. Joining us this morning is the chair of Bell Let's Talk, Mary Deacon. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Over the past nine years, I'm so curious, this was an initiative you began. Uh, how have you seen it change? It's been remarkable. It's, it's grown year over year over year. And what excites me the most is the way it's become organic. You know, we know of about 200 events that are taking place across the country, but there are so many more. And we're constantly hearing from organizations and individuals saying, how can I help? Well, we, we're going to tell people how they can help uh, at the end of this interview. But I, I was fascinated about, about when you said it was organic. People were talking about mental health, but it was in whispers. Now people are putting their faces to it. It's on every form of media. What's the focus for this year? The focus still, you know, we have, we're making progress on, on eradicating stigma, but the job is not done. Mm -hmm. So the focus remains on eradicating stigma. And as a society, getting to that place where mental health is treated just like physical health. And it is a, a big jump for people, and there are certain barriers. We get into that in our special tonight on the primetime special, just some of the areas where people still struggle and feel like it's okay for somebody else to say something, or it's okay for a young person to talk about it, but maybe not a father. So we'll look at some of that tonight in our special. Um, tell everyone what are some of the different organizations that benefit from these millions of dollars that are raised. So we support a wide range of organizations, coast to coast to coast, large and small, including ones that you know, you'd be familiar with, like Kids Help Phone, which is a very important organization in communities across the country, really on the front lines of helping our young people each and every day. But we also support uh, literally hundreds of, of community organizations, grassroots, with small annual grants. And you know, any one of those grants may not change the world, but it could change a life. And if it's your life or the life of somebody you love and care about, I don't think there's anything more important than that. We interview a lot of frontline workers on this show from across the country, and every dollar truly counts when you are working in this, in this field. Well, and particularly in this sector, you know, the mental health sector has been starved for funding mm -hmm. for so long. And I know, having worked in the mental health sector for 10 years before coming to Bell to lead Bell Let's Talk, that mental health organizations know how to stretch a dollar. Mm -hmm. They really and truly do. And this, it's always good to remind people that this initiative was started out of a personal story of yours. My interest in mental health started many, many years ago. I lost my brother, David, who was a medical student uh, who suffered from depression and died by suicide. He did not want anyone to know. He was really worried that if people knew, uh, it would affect his career as a doctor, his prospects in life. He didn't want anybody to know, and that was, he was a real sense of shame. And a number of years later, I lost my other brother, Ted to depression and suicide. And I, I really hope that today, you know, if they were alive, things would have been different. Mary, thank you so much for sharing that today.